conservative new media peeps, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal and Paul Villarreal. We are covering wall to wall this explosive news of Keith Olbermann leaving MSNBC. It was a shocker. It got dropped on Friday night and now it's here. Bam. Now, the question is, and we're talking about all the kinds of ramifications here. The question is right now for this video, what impact is this going to have on other hot liberal talkers that are maybe out there a little on the edge that are bombastic as Paul has said what impact is this going to have politically what impact is this going to have on MSNBC which is a stalwart branch right there not a branch but let's say a supporter in our personal opinion again not alleging any facts casting any aspersions check the disclaimers this is all for entertainment informational and parody purposes only the point is and our personal opinion MSNBC has been one of the top supporters of Barack Obama, one of the top supporters of the far left. And now you've got people, and we're talking about this, you know, P Paul checked out Daily Coast. They're melting down in our personal opinion. They're upset. There's a lot of upset here on the left because of what this could signal as a sea change shift in media and politics. Paul, what impact do you think this is going to have? Let's just start with the media stuff. What is this going to do to MSNBC? What is it going to do to Rachel Maddow? What's it going to do to Joe Scarborough? What about uh, uh, Tweety, you know, Chris Matthews, or, or um, uh, uh, Ed Schultz, or Lawrence O'Donnell, or um, the other guy there, you know, Donnie Deutsch? What impact is this going to have on these personalities on MSNBC? Is it going to muzzle them? Is it going to, to make them pivot? Where do you think this goes? You know, I think what it's going to do, John, is it's going to make... Some of these figures, uh, like some of the ones you just mentioned, it's going to make them step back before they kind of breathlessly report stories such as the, the you know, the litany of smears against the Tea Party. And you know, Sarah Palin. So, and they're racist and, and smearing Sarah Palin. I think they're going to have to think a little bit harder before they run with that kind of tone and uh, inflammatory rhetoric or else they could end up like over do you think this is going to demoralize some of those talkers and staff at MSNBC that were so close and idolized Keith? I do. I think that what you're going to hear is you're going to hear echoes of what was said after NPR fired the woman who uh, basically got rid of uh, Juan Williams. You're going to hear things like, you're going to hear anonymous reports or anonymous sources saying things like, oh, we bowed down to the conservative right and and we gave them another scalp, and you're going to hear that, and they're going to feel like they're being censored or this type of thing. So I think that that you're going to see um, kind of cracks in the system, and almost I don't know if I call them conspiracy theories, but you're going to hear things like, yeah, you know, the the conservative portion of the country or, or the media was uh, given a victory here and firing Oberman that it shouldn't have been. So I do think you will see demoralization among the, the on-air personalities and among their viewership as well. And what about the backlash from people like, you know, Daily Coast or some of these people on left-wing talk radio? Do you think that they're going to try to do this, you know, petition again and bring Keith back? Do you think that they're going to be upset? Will MSNBC lose a lot of their loyal audience because they think that they're sellouts now? Yeah, that's a very real concern. I, I don't know about the petition drives. I wouldn't be surprised if they did start up, although I think that uh, MSNBC, particularly under new management with Comcast, it seems pretty resolute that they're not taking this back. So oh, you could see a real kind of um, skirmish between those on the left who support Keith Oberman and those who are supposedly on the left, like MSNBC, who, who are not going to support him right now. Yeah, they could lose a lot of viewership over this type of a, wow. a, a uh, you know, huge move. So let's talk about the implications on the right. What is this going to do for Fox News? What about Rush Limbaugh? What about Glenn Beck and Sarah Palin? What kind of victory and emboldenedness does this place upon these kind of folks? Yeah, look, this is being celebrated already. Uh, I can see it on, on, on Twitter and other places on the Internet. The right is, is thrilled about this. They feel like this validates what they have said about Oberman and other people who have uh, um, who they feel are similar to Oberman and, and his words and word choice. They feel like, look, there's been all this talk about incivility and inflammatory rhetoric, and the truth is it's coming from the left and not the right. And so I've seen a lot of concerns 
conservatives right now basically saying, look, you know, we just got proven correct. If it wasn't that way, well, then why did he get fired? <laughs> so, so, so Sarah Palin and Glenn Beck are going to be sitting back and saying, told you so, and they're going to be feeling more secure uh, in, in their position. They're going to be more confident because they're still standing, and Glenn, uh, and excuse me, Keith Oberman is not. So, I mean, that's the facts on the ground, and so, I mean, that's, you know, that's how it played out. I think this helps out, uh, I think this helps out so many people. It helps out the Tea Party. It helps out Fox News immediately, directly. It helps out Rush Limbaugh. It helps out Sarah Palin. It helps out Glenn Beck and O'Reilly. I mean, you have these, I mean, I can tell you right now that O'Reilly is definitely going to be able to, to uh, compete a lot better against uh, O'Donnell than he was against uh, Keith Oberman, even though he beat everybody anyway, and he's done it for, like, I don't know how many years, 10 years or something like that. And so I think that this definitely changes the, the hand. And I think it also demoralizes people on the left. It demoralizes uh, personalities on MSNBC that have to be very concerned now that they're going to have to do a different thing with new management. I think that this is going to uh, lead to viewership loss. Um, and I definitely think that, you know, politically, this strengthens the hands of Republicans again going into 2012 because you're having a, the liberal bastion and with the, all the bombast and stuff being dialed back. And that's the deal right there. So I love it. I want to know what you guys think about it. You tell me what you think the implications are. Comments below. Subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal. That is Paul. We are Conservative New Media. We'll see you next time.